Oh, oh no, oh, oh no, oh. Oh, would you look at that? I appear to have blown up my own house. Oh, I mean, how could such a terrible thing happen to me? Nah, but seriously, I have hated that house for some time now, and I've been meaning to get rid of it, and I found it would be a lot more fun to just blow it up. But Tadpole, you're probably wondering, why on earth are you just blowing up houses? Couldn't you just, I don't know, remodel? Well, I mean, yeah, I could have, but I mean, that's not the point. Now, before we get too into this, I do want to make sure that I still have my little tunnel down to the end portal. Because if I blew that up, we, we may have a bit more of an issue on our hands. Yeah, I may have made a mistake. Why can't I find it? Okay, so I didn't actually end up breaking the XP farm, but I didn't find that out until many hours after I recorded this. So we're going to skip that entirely. So yeah, like I said, basically all of this was just one big thing of theatrics to show you that I'm serious. I'm, I'm sick of that house. I blew it up and we're going to start with something fresh. First thing that we have to do if we want to be able to use this spot is we need to clear all this out and fill it back up with dirt so that I can actually do something with it. Oh wow, that is quite the crater. I completely forgot that I actually had a little pond in here and I get the feeling that I probably killed every single fish that was in here. Can we get an F in the cat for those, those fish that I just murdered? <laughs> It's officially the next day! Godly, I don't know why I did that. Uh, but yeah, it's- I mean, I said the next day. It's not actually the next day, it's actually about three days later. So, I spent quite a while, I tried to fix all this stuff up. You will notice I also filled in the- Whoops, I missed a spot. Okay. I tried to fix up everything that I blew up, except for, uh, Gnarly's mansion. But Gnarly doesn't watch these anyways, so he's not gonna notice. And I swear if so much as one of you tells Gnarly and he calls and yells at me, we're gonna have a problem. Yeah, <laughs> nobody tell Gnarly. But you're probably wondering at this point, Tadpole, we're, we're pretty far into the video and we still don't know what you intend on putting here. What are you gonna build here? Is it gonna be something useful? Is it gonna be like a tower? What, what are we doing? Why don't you take a look? Do you like what you see? Because you're about to see it a whole lot bigger. That is right. I am building a giant statue of me. And, uh, <laughs> I, no, no, no real rhyme or reason. I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to put here. You know, I do be dummy cute, though. You'll also see over here. I tried out with a couple of things. I saw a very, a very large statue of, like, a guy holding this battle axe. And I thought it was neat. I think it's technically, like, a dwarf sculpture. It was neat. You know, I'm not gonna front on that. But it's not me. And is this not just very cute? to have a big ol' me standing next to all of my towers. I tested around with it a little bit, and at first I thought, you know, maybe I could do concrete, but I honestly feel like going with some more natural looking blocks will be much more adorable. Y'all ready for me? Now before we actually get started on, you know, me, I do need to build like a little platform underneath myself because, I mean, let's, let's be honest here. I'm too fancy to just be standing on a bunch of dirt out in the middle of nowhere. If we're gonna do me, we're gonna do me right. I want, I'm not gonna go all out on like a throne or something, but I at the very least I want like a pedestal or something that I'm standing on. I want it to be cool looking Okay, so I have a bit of an idea. I'm gonna have to pull up a different means to show you guys <clears throat> All right, so at the top of this thing We're gonna have my head and then I have my eyes right like here and here got my cute little signature smile And then we'll have my body except these are gonna be like legs. I'm gonna be like T posing Except they also have cufflinks buttons. That's about right. All right. That's pretty much me But under me I want some fancy fancy. So I don't know if I want it to be two tiered How about that? That ain't too bad And then right here I want to have like a stairway up Maybe put some like light sources that we make sure that I'm staying lit the entire time You know how like Kim Jong-un has his stuff to where they always have to have a light on it Or like if you ever walk in front of it, you have to bow to it. I want that to be like the same thing for me Oh, I forgot they added soul sand. I forgot. Hold on. Never mind the lights. Never mind the lights We're gonna do we're gonna do like a Zula from Avatar. I'm gonna have blue fire all completely underneath me. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. Okay, so we're gonna have this this crazy pedestal. I'll probably throw in like some gold or something down here as well. All of that we're gonna figure out at the time. Underneath is where it really gets spicy. As you know, I have a little tunnel that goes down here. We have like skeleton spawner. This is skeletons, but they're dead because I kill them. This is the skeleton spawner. What I wanna try and do is, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it, maybe on like one of the sides, we're gonna throw in like a little staircase that goes 
tunnels all the way down to the skeleton spawner so that you can access it. But if you want to access it, you have to go through me first. I hope that makes sense. Th this is basic idea, okay? Big me, pedestal underneath, filled to the brim with riches that prove how wealthy I am. Underneath, have a little chamber where we can kill the undead. I know this makes me sound like a five-year-old dictator, but I want this to look good. All right, so back into the survival world. I hope, first of all, that you enjoyed my little MS Paint thing that I did. But anyway, I have now created the sort of like base pedestal that I want to do. First, I thought that I was going to have like just the two tiers. You know how I, I hope you can kind of see like this piece here and then this piece here. I added in after the fact just because I don't know. I feel like having like the four of them makes it much more stepwise. I don't know. It just seems more realistic that way. I'm not going to describe myself. I think you guys get the idea of that. But I wanted to do just a really basic thing to hash out something like that that like the structural look of it so now what i want to do is i have some blocks here i also just have like basically all of the nether type blocks the new nether type blocks that i thought would look neat i brought over as many as i could because i just want the pedestal to look neat i don't know <laughs> we're gonna test around with a couple things i won't just want to see how different types of things would work so the first one we're going to try out is using the blackstone yeah we're gonna use a blackstone polished fancy we're gonna use polished blackstone brick and i just want to see how this looks we do like just an outline of it oh that's clean that's clean i really like that i do wonder if we broke out like a line right here going all the way up would that look any better no all right so because i like that i think i'm just gonna go ahead and do that all the way around also, that is one thing that I feel like I should mention. I get asked fairly frequently how I do builds like this. At least for me, I think the answer is if you're going to build something that, that's like dummy big, do a small version of it first. Like on this, I did one side of it where I would make changes. Because if I did changes on all four sides, it's going to take a lot more time to get the way that I want it to look. And I'm also just going to waste time if it's something that I don't like. And I got like a 50% for changes that I make that I actually like. Just test around with a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh. No matter no matter how big this world gets or no matter how much time I spend on it, I am still just getting harassed by mobs constantly. Like, I think one of my least favorite things that they've done recently was they made the drowns a thing. Now I have to worry about, and it's pretty clear that I haven't done it anywhere. I'm supposed to light up the water now? Are you kidding me? I, I seriously think Mojang is just doing this to piss me off. Oh, now that looks nice. That is something I can get behind. Yeah, I just love the way that you have, like, the dark frame sitting around all of the smooth stone. I also want to keep that top part just, like, its own thing so that, you know, it stands aside from all the rest of this. So now we're going to get some soul soil. We're going to get the soul soil just so that we can light the blue flame. Oh, I cannot get enough of that. That is awesome. All right, let's carefully add this all the way around. Now, one of the more annoying things that I did not realize I did is I'm I'm a bit of a, a big dum-dum because all of my roads are oddly odd numbers of width. I, I don't know. I don't know why I was struggling to say that so much. They're five across for all of them. Three in the middle with the two on the outsides. However, the pedestal that we're making, because of the size of like a Minecraft character, when I blow it up, it's like an even numbered size. So this is an even number. I don't remember how big it is. It might be like 20 or something, but it's an even number across. And so we're going to have to try and have an odd road go up to like an even thing, which may not sound bad until you realize that this road is now slightly off center. And that drives me up a wall. That's not a joke, by the way. I am so anal that, like, I can almost guarantee you every time I pass that thing from now on, I'm gonna know, hey, the road doesn't line up correctly, and I'm I'm probably gonna have nightmares about it. Nah, for real, though, shout out to Mojang. This blue fire is probably the best thing they have added in a quick minute. Son of a... Not so much a fan of getting lit on fire every two seconds, though. Bruh. And with that, we should be done. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I gotta get rid of this. That is just utterly magnificent. I mean, I was hopeful that this would look cool, but this is absolutely dope. Might want to check your watches because it is officially tadpole time. I absolutely love this thing. I mean, just look at it. Here, let me get down so that we can get a, a closer look at it. Oh, Lamau, a couple of sheep burned from it, okay. Look at that beauty. I love that. 
That's amazing! Okay, but before I can just sit there and gawk at my own creation, I kind of finished up this entrance right here, and I- Mission failed. We'll get him next time. You're getting what you deserve, skeleton. You are getting what you deserve, skeleton. I kind of made this little entrance here that I think is really neat, but I didn't want to go too far and actually start digging the tunnel downward, because I realized that I don't want to dig into the actual- Why must you be like this? What I was trying to say was, I don't want to actually dig into the mob spawner itself. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go down, get the coordinates, and then we're just going to double check that I can safely go down without cutting through it. Nobody cares, nerd. Yeah, so basically at this point, I just decided to go mining and we mined down, made a cute little stairway, and it took way too long to figure this out. And then promptly when I was done with that, I started a live stream and we finished it up all on stream. So we're gonna skip past like the probably four hours of work I did after that. And I'm just gonna show you the end product. Okay, so you know if we're giving a full tour of this, I gotta get another look at it, because, I mean, I just absolutely love this thing. It turned out so well. Base is beautiful. The fire is lovely. I don't know if I mentioned it, I did end up putting the gold in here that I thought I was going to, so we have the nice gold blocks there. It looks just real swell. The stairs are kind of redundant, because even if you walk up this, there's nowhere to really go, but that's not the point. The point of this is now to show what we did off camera. So I had a stream yesterday, and we basically just finished up the mine and got all of this stuff situated. So the room in here, I know it looks very barren. I know I said I finished everything. What I want to put in here is actually like armor stands with netherite armor on them, just because I think it would really go with like the look that I have going where I have, you know, a lot of these nether type blocks and it's very dark. So that is the plan for this room right here. And obviously I don't have anywhere near enough netherite to do that. This is still going to be on hold for now, but the structural stuff is pretty much done. So we put in this really nice staircase. We used blackstone, sorry, polished blackstone. And then we have uh, sandstone and basalt going up the side with andesite on the ceiling. Luckily, we were able to avoid as much lava as possible. It's a couple blocks below us, but you know what? We were safe. This looks pretty nice. And then because we already had the blackstone kind of going for this, when I got to the actual dungeon itself, at first I wanted to completely remodel the dungeon and just put new stuff in, but I figured, I don't know, I kind of just like the way that the dungeon itself looks, or the stronghold, I keep calling it the dungeon, the stronghold. I kind of just like the way that the stronghold looks with its blocks. So what I did was, and you can see right here where I kind of just left it normally, the pathway where I would normally walk, I put in the polished blackstone. So like over here, it'll take you on down to the end portal. As you can see, we have a little end portal room right here. Not finished yet. That is still a project for another day. I will probably use more nether style bricks because I just love the way that like this blackstone looks. I'm so happy that they added a block like this. Up this ladder right here, because we had to get rid of the staircase right here, we basically just have a ladder that'll still take you up. If I ever need to do maintenance, you know, I have the light to turn it off. I can get in there very easily. No problems there. Yeah, I kind of forgot to mention, um, if you are new here and you don't know, that room in there is what houses the spawner for my XP farm. So that's why if like it ever broke or something, I need to be able to get in there to do maintenance. And then we still also have the minecart that'll take me back. So I tried to keep as much as I could stable. For obvious reasons, we had to throw in this little little staircase right here. I believe it was around here is where we had our ladder that would take you down. Now we just have this staircase that goes all the way around. Maybe a little bit more I could do in here, but for the most part, what today was about is trying to get that upper part done. So I am immensely proud of what we have accomplished. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's episode. I just wasn't a fan of the house decided to blow it up and put this here so i hope you guys enjoyed if you weren't there for the live stream and you want to check it out that is going to be uh, on my channel i also have a playlist of all the live streams if you ever want to check any of those out but thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it i would love it if you left a like and if you're new here i would absolutely love it if you subscribed but thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys next time Tschüss, kinder <laughs>